Clothing. It's what separates Mario from Luigi. Man from beast. Beast from beast. And beast from man again. When when he turns back and when he turns back into a man. When it comes to video games, clothing is very important to me. But why is clothing so important to you, four eyes? Ow, those are my feelings. Well, you see, I believe expressing oneself in any amount, big or small, is a very powerful thing. It can make an experience with a video game feel much more personal. You know, maybe I don't identify as default outfit Nico as much as black jacket featuring glasses Nico. Maybe red Ken doesn't speak to me as much as purple Ken. Maybe I don't want to wear any clothes at all. Games like Ocarina of Time, Metal Gear Solid 3, Dark Souls, and Fallout even have clothing that actually changes your stats and abilities. I now have plus negative two self-confidence points in my ability to record this video in 90% camouflage in the depths of hell. You stupid bitch. But if you're like me, you're probably just gonna wear whatever you think will make you the prettiest girl at prom, because that's way more fun. Fashion Souls, formerly known as Bloodborne, is the perfect example of this. The stats on the different items of clothing are all similar, so PvP is really just a beauty pageant between you and the fellas. But the great thing about games like GTA, Street Fighter, Super Mario Odyssey, or Halo is that the clothing is purely cosmetic. It's not about better stats, it's about showing off to people that you now know how to wield a ninja assassin's blade in Halo 3 because your cousin Terry works at Knifeworks in the mall. And me being the big Halo fan that I am, you can imagine my disappointment with Halo 5. Not the gameplay, I'm actually a fan. But the clothing, armor, whatever. What the hell happened? Reach let you customize nearly everything, and most of it looked bonerific. It felt good to save up credits earned by just playing the game to make your guy look cool. But all Halo 5 lets me do is pick from a bunch of stupid armor presets that all look like shiny plastic action figures that I have to get from random loot box wreck packs. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, I'm sorry, it looks like my stupid alarm is going off again. And that brings me to the coolest, most sickest ass baller Kobe yeah. thing ever invented by God. Loot boxes, wreck packs, crates, whatever the hell you want to call them. Baseball cap. All right, sick. Uh, jean jacket, dope. Um, gym shorts, right on. Sick, 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 sick. Cool, cool, cool. There's some arguments that microtransactions are justified because games are much more expensive to develop nowadays than days of the past, yet are still being sold at around the same price of 50 to $60, and developers like Blizzard have been good about providing free DLC as the trade-off for having microtransactions for the loot boxes, and yeah, 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 but... Can we just leave the clothes out of it. Why should my virtual fashion sense and camouflage in PUBG be determined by a game of Yahtzee in cyberspace? Leave the gambling to the scratch tickets purchased for kids outside my local gas station. But keep it out of my goddamn video games. I wanna change my clothes. 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 I wanna change my Okay, so now let's look back at everything I just said to figure out what the hell my point was. People like customizing shit, especially clothes. Getting a new piece of clothing in a video game can feel like a nice reward for playing. New clothing slash armor can be a nice goal to work towards with fake virtual currency. Loot boxes are dumb, microtransactions are stupid, and gambling belongs outside of my gas station. All I'm trying to say is that I like playing dress up, and I don't like having to pay extra to do so. This means that I am officially deciding to switch the focus of my channel from video games to fashion. Next week I will be uploading full DVD commentary of The Devil Wears Prada, so make sure to like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that. I hate myself. Side degree.